Hi everyone, hi Moonies. Um, I want to quickly cover the Sailor Moon Crystal Act 21 review that was aired yesterday, May 2nd. The episode was called Complication Nemesis. And it picked up right where Act 20 left off. Sailor Moon got kidnapped by Prince Diamond, and again, I cannot pronounce his Japanese name yet. So, but I'm trying to stick to the Japanese names for everybody else that I can say. Anyway, um, I'm going to say this a little fast because, again, I'm, I had this recorded on my phone and it uh, died. So I'm, I'm recording it on the tablet. So anyway, uh, Act 22 for, or sorry, Act 21, Completion Nemesis aired May 2nd. And again, it was... Uh, it picked up right where the last episode ended, where Sailor Moon got kidnapped by Prince Diamond, which was a comparison to the 90s, and we kind of... We kind of uh, get to ha She has a dream... Sailor Moon has a dream of, of a Wicked Lady, which we haven't seen that portion of Crystal yet, but from that glimpse in the dream, the animation for that looks really good. So... Uh, continuing on, uh, Sailor Moon wakes up thanks to Prince Diamond giving her a blast from the Dark Crystal, and he hypnotizes her and forces her to sit down in a chair to hear his wonderful tale of why he wants to destroy the Earth. Okay. So, and he also, while he's, she's hypnotized, he kisses her, which is a different thing that happened from the 90s. Um... And everything, and we get to hear a little more about Chibiusa in this episode also. Again, sorry I'm jumping around. I want to cover everything before this dies on me too. So, uh, another thing that went on was uh, we got to see Mars and Jupiter and Mercury again, but they were in their human, their uh, untransf unscout form is what I call it. They detransformed and they had their energy because Usagi, because she was not Sailor Moon at the time, she was Usagi, or Neo Queen Serenity, because she had a, a Neo Queen Serenity look-alike uh, dress on it, on, and she called to Mars and Mercury and Jupiter, and they heard her, and they had her, their energy back for a split second, then they passed out again. So that was different from the 90s. In the 90s, they didn't get kidnapped, and the only one who got kidnapped at this point was Sailor Moon. So, uh... Another thing that happened again is we saw Chibiusa, we got to hear a little more about her, how people made, kids especially, made fun of her because, one, she stopped growing. She didn't have her power like Sailor Moon did or Neo Queen Serenity. They were saying, you're never going to be like the queen um, and stuff. So th that really kind of hurt her. Uh, we saw how she met Pluto and they became friends. Another thing we found out was Chibiusa's age. When Prince Endymion was telling his past self, Tuxedo Mask, that he would help find Sailor Moon, they were saying, well, who's going to watch Chibiusa and, and stuff? At least that's kind of what I was translating. Also, they were told that the Silver Crystal was taken from their time, from 30th century Tokyo. And Luna who was with them, said, well, it should have protected Neo Queen Serenity, so why can't Chibiusa, being her daughter, use the crystal? And, you know, why doesn't she have her power? Well, we find out she doesn't have her power, and we find out that she's 900 years old. Yes, Chibiusa is 900 years old. So, that's another thing. And also, what we find out is, um, we also find out that Pluto gave Rini or Uch Chibiusa magic words for her Luna people, which were which was abracadabra poof, and um, so yeah, that was um, different. Another thing is um, what else am I gonna say? I want to cover everything real quickly. I'm trying to remember. Um, e my, I already said about the scouts. Uh, but yes, um, so, 
Oh, yes. Uh, Chibiusa went to where her mom was, which she was in the crystal cocoon or the crystal shell. And she, f we find out that she was hit with the sleeping spell in the crystal. But I don't think she was fully hit with it because the shell appeared around her when I think the inner scouts, I think Mars, Jupiter, and Venus, and Mercury all pulled their powers to protect her before the spell hit her fully. So And then she fell into a deep sleep. So anyway, she ran, Chibiusa ran to her, where her mom was. And said, you know, Mom, I messed up. I need your help. And all of a sudden, when, when she's having her, her moment of self-pity, in my mind, we hear her ball say, Abracadabra, poof. Okay, that was different. So, yes. And we also have King Endymion and her Tuxedo Mask ask um, Pluto for her help and to lend her power to um, Tuxedo Mask because he is going to go find Sailor Moon. And we see also that Shibiusa overhears uh, King Endymion and Pluto talking. And also, she drops her time key, and when Pluto finds it, she's thinking, I gave this to Shibi or to Small Lady, because she calls her Small Lady. And uh, another thing that happened was, Shibiusa was saying to us that, why is Pluto smiling? The only time I saw her smile was when I was with her, because she's my one true friend. But now she's with Dad and she's smiling. Yes, Pluto still has a crush on King and Demian, which we know is never going to work out. So, yes, Chibiusa drops the time key, and at the end of the episode... Um, oh, real quickly, we also find out that Rini... That Usagi... That Chibiusa finds out that... Because um, she's questioning, is Usagi Sailor Moon? She finds out that when Usagi was young, 14, she got yelled at for not doing her schoolwork just like Chibiusa does, did. And so yes, back to the toward the end of the episode. Um, at the end, we see Wise Man try to get to Chibiusa, and we see Chibiusa take his hand. And that's where the episode ended. Um... And also, real quickly, uh, when Pluto gave the words abracadabra poof to Chibiusa, her ball is supposed to shoot out confetti and make her happy, which, I don't know. But yes, but yes, uh, the episode ended where Chibiusa took Wise Man's hand. So there was my quick little review for uh, yesterday's episode, Act 21, Com Location Nemesis. If I forgot anything, I'm sorry. What I'll do then is I will rewatch it this week, probably, or not this week, but the the Saturday, the Friday before Act 22 airs, and I will add that before I start my next review. Again, I'm trying to cover this because I have a lot of things going on here. I want to make sure I get one up so I'm not fully behind. So I want to make a prediction for Act 22 when it airs in two weeks. I'm hoping we see Shibiusa wake up Neo Queen Serenity. That is what I'm waiting for for this uh, R season for crystals. So anyway, um, there's my review for Salem and Crystal Act 21. And I will see you later, Moonies. See you in the next Salem Moon review. Salem and Crystal review. Bye.